Xinyan Kuai Le. I am excited to celebrate the Lunar New Year with you. I am going to teach you how to do moxa. Moxa is an herb, it's artemisinin vulgaris. It's a relative of mugwort and has been used actually all over the world for centuries for a variety of things. In traditional Chinese medicine, it's used to encourage blood flow, reduce swelling, and to help people heal more quickly. When it's burned for moxa, the herb is actually taken and burned over specific points and the act of burning increases the warming aspect of the herb and it brings some warmth into the body. And for anyone who has cold or fatigue or many forms of pain, not every form of pain, but particularly pain that improves with heat, moxa is really wonderful. And if someone has pain every winter when it starts to get cold, their back hurts or their knees hurt, they can do moxa and not only does it tend to help the pain, but the next winter when it gets cold, they often feel warmer and they won't have as much pain. It's a really wonderful thing to use and it's something it's fairly easy to learn to do, although it does involve fire. So that's part of the reason we're using it right now. I thought it'd be a fun way of celebrating the year of the dragon. Um, but you also don't want to burn down your home or burn yourself or burn a friend. So I am going to make this video and then use your best judgment about how to use this. If you have something that's hot and inflamed, there are some forms of acupuncture where they might use moxa, but typically if it feels hot and adding heat makes it worse, then we don't use moxibustion. Um, but it is traditionally used for pain, for digestive issues, for fatigue, to support immune function. It can help with breathing, although I will caveat that and say that it, the smoke from moxa can be irritating for some people, and there are different grades of moxa. Um, I actually have two here, so you can see the difference. Um, generally, the more they smoke, the more irritating it can be for your lungs. There is something called smokeless moxa, which I actually like even less because it involves using charcoal. And I don't like breathing charcoal, it has carbon monoxide. I'd much rather just breathe the herb. And if you can, turn on a fan, turn on a fan, open a window, go outside. Often the best time of the year to do moxa is when it's cold and it's not as exciting to go outside. But if you can open a window or have some ventilation, that would be great. So. This is the moxa that I like to use. Um, and it comes in these, essentially like a cigar. The herb is rolled up inside and you can just light the end. So you'll see there's a foil end, you light the other end and it will start to burn. And what you want is to get it nice and warm. And then we're gonna put out the fire and it will smolder and the smoldering, and this is actually kind of old, so it's a little smoky, but the smoldering um, puts out the heat and you can hold it over specific points. So if I wanted to do, say, Li4, I could just hold it over that um, or over the palm. There's a whole hand system of acupuncture. Um, smoke probably works better in the video anyway. Um, that I use frequently in the office and it is essentially like a dragon. So this is the head the neck, the upper back, the arms are here, legs are here. And so if someone has neck pain, you can just mock so the back of the middle finger. Um, if it's more upper back, you can go down on the hand, if kind of moving towards the shoulders, the low back, so back of the hand for the back of the body. Um, it feels really nice. And so as it starts to get warm, I will actually take it and press the heat in. And so this area in the middle of this bone is kind of L2, L3, the middle of our lumbar. As we go down into the carpal bones, um, we're getting down into the lumbar spine, or sorry, the sacral spine. Um, you can do your legs, ankles, feet, or on this side, we can work on our abdomen or chest. So if someone has stomach pain, you can mox in the middle of the hand. Um, it's actually used a lot for either diarrhea or some forms of constipation, and it feels really nice. And that's easy. On yourself, you can also mox in your belly or on other people. Um, and so there'll be a little bit of ash that starts to develop. 
And if you have an, you use an ashtray or a glass jar, and you just tap into that, um, and then you can go back. And if you leave the ash, you'll notice that it stops warming as well. And so as it gets less hot, then you tap off the ash. You can also blow on it and make it hotter. Um, there are a number of points that are used on the body. So lower abdomen is often used for fatigue and digestive issues. You can use the chest for breathing issues. Um, you can moxa the, the lower leg. Um, there's a whole bunch of points actually on the calf, on the inside of the calf that are used for people with painful periods. Um, and you just heat it up and then press in. Or on the outside of the shin, there's a great point here, stomach 36, Zusan Li, and you just hold the moxa over that. This is a great, it's like the chicken soup point, and you can even just massage that with your hand. But the point helps with fatigue, helps with nausea, helps, you can use it for either diarrhea or constipation. Um, it's a really wonderful point. So there are a couple of things. We know now the back of the hand for the back of our body, front of the hand for the front of the body, this is definitely old moxa, so it's quite smoky, but maybe maybe it's easier to see in the video. So this is moxa. As a comparison, um, this is another, this is kind of a more classical stick of moxa, just so I can show you what it looks like. And again, light it until it burns. And now you can see the smoke from that. So this kind of moxa usually does smoke quite quite a lot, even regardless of how old it is. Um, I tend to prefer the higher grades on the Japanese moxa, but this is fairly easy to find, and it, it works quite well. Um, but yeah, definitely, it's nice. You need an ashtray. Um, you can take the ends and either put them down in a bowl with sand so they're covered in sand or put them in a glass jar that you can seal and if there's no oxygen it will go out or you can cut the end off um, definitely do not throw that in the trash or you will start a fire um, i do not recommend starting fires <laughs> year of the dragon is a year for flow and balance and harmony so i hope you've enjoyed the video it's fun to share these and uh, blessings